All right, good day, welcome, loves, and welcome to my channel. All right, um, Ophiuchus. Yesterday was kind of a, I think it was yesterday, or was it the day before? Whatever, the uh, election night. Um, so, as I was driving home, I mean, it was a beautiful sunset. The sun was, the sky was just like a golden, a beautiful golden, right? And then I had noticed, I'm like, when I, I was like, wow, these look like two little angels um, in the sky, right? And obviously they say, you know, angels really don't look like that, you know, but um, through our vision, what we have been taught, um, that's what we see. What the fuck is in my hair? Um, maybe nothing, but anyway, so, but then I was like, what is this other little thing over here? All right. So I kind of zoomed in and I'm like, you know what? It reminded me, it looked like an elephant. The first thing I got in my mind right away was elephant, you know, and they always say that we should go off our first gut instinct, right? Cause we're really bad as humans. Um, second guessing our intuition and going for the second instead of the first. Have y'all ever done that? We're like... You second guess yourself and then you fucking bites you in the ass. <laughs> it's like, man, I should have just stuck with that. Yes, because our intuition doesn't lie. Our mind can trick us. Our mind can deceive us. Okay, um, it can be our worst enemy or it can be our best friend. So we're going to pull from this deck. I have not used this in forever. Um, I cannot find my other little elephant oracle or elephant. <laughs> My animal oracle. It was like a smaller, you know, like this size. I can't find it nowhere. I have no freaking clue where it went. So, whatever. All right, so let's see what comes out here for you guys. All right, but yeah, I was getting your guys' energy, all right? And I feel like it's because you guys are like healers. You guys are here to, um, you know, you represent the medical field. Healers are known as like angelic uh, beings, people see them as, you know, angels, you know, the, the, because of the work they do, the work they provide, the loving, the caring and all that. So, um, the elephant does represent, uh, what I think it's greatness, wisdom. Um, but there's more to it. That's just the basic, right? A lot of people only look into the basic and there's more than just the freaking basic. All right. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, we'll get going. Wow, we have the bison here. Beautiful. Another big animal. So I'm getting big energy, all right? Um, but the bison represents abundance. They are very sacred amongst the Native Americans. Um, but the bison is about cloaking you with that wisdom, giving you that wisdom, keeping you warm through any type of storms in life, they fill your life with goodness and they can teach you the way of greatness and gratitude and prayer. All right. The bison are very sacred, very, very sacred amongst the Native Americans. They followed the buffalo. All right. Wherever the buffalo went, the Native Americans went. Right. Because that was food. Animals know where resources are. So the Native Americans followed them because obviously resources and the native americans never took more than what they needed now like these modern day hunters that like it pissed me off there's this one dude around here and you know i used to be pretty cool with him i still am to a point but it's like i had to say some shit to a few locals around here about their ways of hunting because they're real quick to say oh well it's our culture you know the native it's our culture nigga what your culture well, your culture teaches you to pray before you hunt, to pray for that animal, to ask that animal and the creator to give you the opportunity to take this animal's life, to replenish yours and your family, and to give you clothing and everything that you need to survive. But they don't do that shit. That's the problem with this world is people can sit there and say, I'm Native American or I'm Asian or I'm Hispanic or I'm this. I look at how you live. I look at how you move in this world. OK, and if you move in like the like the colonizers, you belong in the white bread section. I'm sorry, but you cannot use culture to suit 
whatever's going on in your life, but not live it and practice it. That's the main problem in this world is a lot of people just say it, but they don't live it. You know, a bunch of lost souls in this world. It's really freaking sad. Wow, we have the tiger, the fire. That's that saggy energy in you guys. Okay, so be unstoppable. Be that unstoppable force. Don't let nobody tell you anything because you're the 13th goddess. You're the number 13 that everybody fears. Like I stated in my one video, this one hotel up in the cities went from 12 to 14. They skipped the number 13 for a floor. How pathetic, right? <laughs> like, really? They fear y'all, oh, for you, because people fear you. That's why they tried to destroy you and ignore you and leave y'all out. Because it has nothing to do with, you know, they say that, oh, because of the way the tropical, the Westerners do it. You know, they go off of the seasons, right? And it's like, no, because we see it in our everyday life. People fear that number 13. They fear you, Ophiuchus, all right? Because your passion is your power and you're very passionate. You speak passionately, you live passionately. And it's like, and that's your power and people don't like it. They don't like your, that you're bold. They don't like that you're brave. They don't like the fact that you will say what needs to be said, that you will say what everybody else is thinking. You know, mighty forces come to your aid. Okay? Because you're sacred, like the bison. All right? So the creator is going to, therefore, come to your aid. And all creator's forces, animals, ancestors, everything will come to your aid because of who you are as a person. All right, so if people say, God, well, you act like you're sitting on your high horse or, oh, do, do, because you are. And they see it and it hurts and it stinks because they see truth and they can't accept it. Right? All right. Let's see what's going on here. So big ass animal here with the bison. All right. So let's get here for the reading here. What is up with me seeing that elephant? But yeah, it's that greatness. You know what I'm saying? And we're just taking that out because it came out again. Okay, so the tiger with the fire. Your Sagittarius um, energy within you, because you guys are made up of Scorpio and Sagittarius. So, you know, you don't pull your bow back and release unless you know that fucker's going to hit. Right? So, very another big animal with the tiger too. Big animal, big power. All right, big D energy. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but I actually could because of passion. Because of the passion in here, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I just saw the bear, the grizzly bear. A lot of big animals here, Ophiuchus. All right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Or you could, like, yeah, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, my God, you guys, there it is. Oh my God, there it is. Okay, so the elephant, like I said, it's about greatness. Okay, so wow. And then there's, yeah, a lot of wisdom. And then we have the wolf. These are all highly like honorable amongst the lady, the Native Americans. The coyote is represents like the Hayokas, which around here at this tribe, there ain't no medicine man. There's no Hayokas. There's no healers. It's whitewashed. Just a bunch of white people that merge with a white man and try to create this hypocritical world, you know, where these, and I hate to say it, but I'm an honest person, okay? They only, the white men only allow you to do what benefits them. Think about that. Think about that. And quit being sellouts, Okay? But yeah, it's like um, the wolf and the coyote, very, very, very in the bison here. So I'm getting three. So y'all could be like a grand trine here, all right? And it could be an earth because these are like earthbound creatures. They're not air creatures, you know? They have to be on the ground. So y'all could be a trine in like earth, have like an earth trine. Um, 
So the coyote, you know, obviously is the revealer of truths. And heokas do that. They mirror back what people need to see within themselves. Um, people have a hard time understanding heokas. Um, but that's all right. Because the heoka knows its purpose. Um, and the wolf is a pathfinder. Okay. But with these energies here, with the elephant, with the great, they're not a big ass animal. Damn. And then we have the personal choice. Wow. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. See, it's about rising above earthly matters. You are able to see the right path. You stand tall in your self-worth and you love with a big heart. All right. So fuck these earthly matters to a point because a lot of this crap you can't fix. All right. Because you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink it. You can stick its head in the water, but you still can't make it drink it. Right. Um, and that's the problem with this world is everybody is so like hard headed and they just refuse to accept. Right. So we're going to pull here. And I, I, and it is Native American History Month, so it's about schooling people, you know. And Ophiuchus, you guys, um, some of y'all, depending on it, like some say November 29th, some say November 30th um, is when Ophiuchus officially starts. All right, so, um, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's do three more. Sh oh, come on. What was that? Pachamama, that literally split with the arrow. Yeah, it's like rise above earthly matters with the arrow in that. Yeah. Sit above the rainbow. All right, let's get for Ophiuchus here, please. Because I feel like you guys have a different purpose. You guys have a different journey to walk. So these earthly matters... They don't affect you. You're exempt from these earthly matters because you have a greater purpose here with the elephant, the bison, and the tiger. And there's that arrow again. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. And that's why you speak, choose to be unstoppable. And you speak with passion and power and are brave and are bold because you have a leadership role. All right? It's kind of like a king of wand energy here. Uh, but your wisdom does inspire everyone you meet. All right, even though they may not act like it because they're still kind of need to do that inner work. Yeah. Everybody loves you. You ever known how some people can like uh, love something so much that they hate it? Yeah. Um, but you can overcome any problem. All right, and you do it so naturally and easily and you achieve success. And it's probably because of that Sagittarius energy, right? That you guys have within you where it's like, fuck it. I ain't gonna dwell, I'm on to the next. You know, you guys, that's how you are. You don't dwell, you don't stay stuck. You just keep moving on to the next thing. And that's why people can't stand Sagittarius because they cannot understand how Sagittarius can get the fuck over shit so easily. Because that's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to dwell. We're not supposed to spend our whole life walking on crutches with whatever our mental fucking self wants to convince, you know? So many people use things as a crutch, you know, for pity and empathy. And that's like low vibe shit, like who the fuck? You know, wow, we have the seer, beautiful, with the ancient ones, with the moon. So I feel like here, yeah, you have a lot of power here, okay? And it's like, you're, your ancestors speak through you intuitively, all right? You can sense them. You get the visions. You get everything. They reveal the hidden truths to you, okay? And that's why you're unstoppable. You have mighty forces that come to your aid because you are a seer, all right? You are a rare breed. Even though, you know, you go on internet and TikTok and everybody is a seer and everybody is a tarot reader and everybody is a medium and a psychic and... Really? Get the fuck out of here. We'd be living in a whole different world if that were true. Everybody's so narcissistic today. Like, that's what happens. You know, when you you become a product of the environment that you live amongst, right? And narcissism seems to be at an all-time high today in histrionic and all these cluster B things. And when you're raised in that environment, you become that. And then your children become that. And next thing you know, here we are. 
<laughs> feel wow we have the hummingbird here all right it's about being here in the now not the past not the future but the now okay but love is your strength love conquers all loves oh we have the medicine wheel i love it i love it oh you guys you guys always get beautiful readings and i love it you grow and you harvest and you reap the rewards of your harvest Okay, with the corn here. Wow, with the eagle. Look at this. In the tree of life. Yeah. It's like you grow. Because you'll be damned if you carry on, if you put that burden on your children. All right? Anybody that puts generational curses on their children, shame on them. All right, so we do have here, because if there were no generational things pushed onto another child, they would be living a very um, loving, balanced life. Happy, no mental issues, no nothing. Okay, so here you see from a different perspective. You see from a bird's eye view. All right, the eagle has power. It's that power, and it's those mighty forces that come to your aid. All right, and you are unstoppable like an eagle. You can't, an, an eagle is an apex predator along with the owls and the hawks. Okay, so I feel like with the corn, yeah, it's like you plant your seeds, you water it, you tend to it, and you have patience as you grow. And then once you reach maturity, all right, like this corn and it's ready to be harvested, what do you get out of it? You get good, good things that feed your soul. All right, so the medicine wheel is here telling you, yes, you have stepped foot in the medicine wheel. And the minute you step foot in that medicine wheel, there is no turning back. And there's that lioness. Well, this is more like a cheetah or something, but, and there's that eagle. Okay. And then we have the serpent, which is you, the conducis, the, the uh, medical field with, yeah, that's you. Okay, number 35. We do have here while wow, the water. That's that Scorpio energy. That water fire. I always get that with you guys. It's always that water fire to let me know and to let y'all know and anybody that watches this that it's letting them know Ophiuchus is here with that water and that fire. That Scorpio and that Sag. All right. Very intuitive. And you also believe that life, it's all about sacrificing. All right. We sacrifice. All right, so those that have more should be helping the ones that have less. And I do that as much as I can. All right, and it's all about sacrifice. You know, the more you sacrifice and just let go, the more things that come in. You start metamorphosizing here like a butterfly. Okay? You have to sacrifice your, like human nature and be that spiritual leader oh my god <laughs> i don't like when that does that i'm trying to get the word hate out of my vocabulary so we have here the vision quest all right so y'all are going to have a vision quest all right and then visions are going to bring a lot here and i also feel like here that you know it's like saying you are here to protect the earth and that's it Rise above the earthly matters, right? Don't worry about all this political, all these people, lost souls wandering, right? You are just here to take care of the earth, to tend to the earth, to heal the earth, because you are a healer, okay? That's what you're here to do. Be the keeper of the earth, all right? Number 18, number three, we have number 60. You're the master of time, all right? It's all about, yes, yeah, you see. All right, you have perfect fucking timing, and that's that Sagittarius energy. You understand time. We have the beauty way. I love that card because it's about walking in beauty and love, right? All right, so let's get one more out of here, please. With a sign of Ophiuchus, this is going to be a little long. The beauty way. Why the frick not? <laughs> that's why you got to go for that first good instinct, right? There's a reason I get pulled to these certain cards that I get a glimpse of. It's about listening to that intuition, you know what I'm saying? And I like to point that shit out because I want y'all to know that this shit is real. All right? Energy cannot be destroyed. 
energy is all around us. It can flow around us, within us, through us. Yeah, so let's get here for Ophiuchus with uh, the bison. The, the tigre, the tiger. Uh, the elephant with the greatness. We've got that water, that medicine wheel, that sacrifice, that vision, the earth keeper, the beauty way. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You're just a beautiful, ravis, ravishing soul. You are a rare gem, a rare breed. All right. And I love y'all. Y'all are one of my favorite signs because of the energy that you guys bring to the table. All right. We need people like y'all here. So don't let people push you out and tell you Ophiuchus don't exist. Stand up. Own your power here. You have unstoppable forces around you. Okay? All right, see so we got Ophiuchus. Loves. Ooh, we have here, wow, the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, you're very giving. There's that earthly energy, all right? So I feel like, yeah, some of y'all guys could be like an earth rising. Or you guys could, um, like a north node um, in Virgo or like Capricorn. But this is your destiny. This is your birthright. This is the spiritual journey that you came here to do. So yeah, I'm getting an Earth's trine here. Somebody who's got a very calm energy to them, like a very homey feeling. So you probably feel at home when you're around these people. Or like Ophiuchus, oh, people probably feel like they're they feel at home when they're around you. You just create that beautiful, comforting environment here. But yeah, it's pretty much saying that, yeah, you are here to be the keeper to take care of the earth. All right. So therefore, you're going to have a strong connection with the earth and the animals. But it's your birthright. It's your destiny. You're very generous. You're very giving. All right. And that's why you're blessed with abundance with the wheel of fortune also in the bison here. You put in the work. You work hard. All right. King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's that masculine, that feminine. And there's that moon energy with the star. So yeah, it's like you are here to heal the world to heal the earth and you guys are here to like replenish and rejuvenate the earth and yourself and everybody else but i'm getting at like yeah there's unstoppable forces that are guiding you i'm getting like with the king of pentacles i'm getting just living a beautiful long life all right but you put in the work. It wasn't easy. It was hard. I just saw the Ten of Frickin' Pentacles. Who got that? Sagittarius I was getting that for. All right. I don't want to get this too much here. So, oh, my God. That's quite a few here. Oh, God. <laughs> got the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. Wow. Okay. Let's try that again. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. It was that good life that I was getting. You're very intuitive. You know how to keep your emotions balanced. You're all about going in and understanding so much. All right, it's about you go deep with the hermit here. And that's where you're going to live a lot, long life. But you also like a hermit. You keep to yourselves. You're very em empathetic. You can sense and feel so much. But you're caring and nurturing and loving all right, and then we have, wow, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all got Earth somewhere in your chart here. But it could also be just, you know, being that Earth Keeper. You know, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Wow. We have here the Judgment with the Strength. This is your calling. And I'm just going to leave that there. This is your calling. Your spirit guides are here. All right, you're here to dismantle shit. All right, so that way you can heal the earth. That way you can clean up the mess that people have made when it comes to earth. But your spirit guides are moving you into a beautiful energy. All right, you're moving out of this earthly matters here. We have here while the empress here. That's that mother earth, that nurturing energy. And then we have the high priestess there. So... You're very intuitive, all right? It's like you're a very spiritual being. You're a rare gem. You're a rare breed. And if only people could comprehend and take their ass out of the Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. I could probably sit and talk forever and ever when it comes to you guys because your energy 
I mean, you can't even put the words. You can't even put it really into words because you are just, you're not from here. All right. It's like, you really are like a freaking alien. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave that there, loves. Just remember, you're an empress. You're strong and you're powerful. It's that tiger energy. You're brave. You're bold. You're passionate. And you live like an empress. People see that. They see it in you. All right.